As you look at the postseason, there are 12 teams in the top two division winners get buys. And that's the part about this that I love, Bob. I've always felt that the division winner should get some merit. There should be more of a prize at the end of the season. And I think that buy is now something to shoot for. You're not going to want to just be a wild card and get into the postseason. You want to be one of those top two division winners because then you get a chance to rest. You get a chance to sit out that first round. You get to establish all of your pitchers and get everyone ready for that second round of playoffs while the team that advances, who knows what's going to go on with their pitching situation. One thing we also should know the owners did push for 14 teams in the postseason, and that was something that the two sides weren't able to agree on, so they settled on 12. And one other thing, Bob, there will be no more 163rd right. games of the season. If there are any ties for these playoff spots, they will be settled by tiebreakers. So if you love the 163rd game or the potential for that, and I kind of did, yeah. I think it's cool, it's do or die, they're not going to do that anymore, and it's because of the scheduling. And when you're adding an extra round of playoffs, you have to be able to lock in those dates. And I would think that, that no 163, the tiebreaker, that had the most blowback on social media. That's what it felt like. People love that. But again, isn't that part of breaking away from some of these traditional things that baseball has done to change the game and move it forward? Right. And we all love do or die situations. Any kind of deciding game seven or a 163rd game. Look back in history. I mean, the Yankees and the Red Sox and that famous 163rd game game but I agree with you I do understand as as much as a part of me says oh it'd be so cool to see two teams go at it well have the type of season where your team doesn't end up in a tie if you're an 85 win team that doesn't get in the playoffs because you lost a tiebreaker there's an easy solution win 86 games so I think we will be able to live with not having the 163 I think the fact that we're getting 12 teams in the playoffs and the bye I'm a big fan of that. You know, some f folks said with the 14-team idea, well, then it's watered down. Even potentially a sub-500 team could get in and then run the table some way. But I look at it this way. Haven't we seen over the course of the past five or ten years these teams that are on the fence stay more engaged? And those teams, not all of them, but they take chances. They might make a couple trades at the trade deadline and say, look, we've got a few veteran players on the team. This We've got a small window. Let's go for it. And if not, we can reset but at least they're making a go of it if there are a few more playoff spots available. Right, and adding the playoff spots, but making the teams that are the best teams get put in a better position. And that's yeah. what happened in this spot. And I agree with you, and I like that idea. How many teams in the NFL are under 500 into the final weeks of the season and are still in the hunt for a playoff spot? But baseball decides to add a couple of playoff teams, and there's this outrage. I think the number 12 is a good number. 